What's up traders, Steven here, your honest trading coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you a winning day trading strategy that is simple enough for you to learn and apply whether you're a beginner, intermediate, more at an advanced stage of your trading. This strategy is rules based, which makes it extremely easy to follow. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down the entire strategy for you. I'm also going to show you a live trade I took using this strategy earlier in the week and share a couple of tips that helped me on my own path to becoming a professional trader. So if you're as amped up about today's video as I am, go ahead and click that like button below the video. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below the video to the right hand side and the notification bell while the intro and disclaimer roll and I will see you directly after. Welcome back and let's dive into this simple but effective day trading strategy we're going to be talking about today. I'm excited to get started. So diving right in, what I want you to do first off is look at the chart on the screen. I want you to tell me, comment below, and if you're watching this right now, read the comments below if you're here at a later date. Tell me what the market's doing right now. How many of you, this is what I want to see. I want to see how many of you saw this as, let's say, a flag pattern pushing up consolidation, right? I want to see how many of you saw this not as a flag pattern, but as a possible double top reversal pattern. I wonder how many of you saw those two different scenarios. I also am curious to know if you saw this as a period of consolidation where you buy support and start selling resistance levels until we get a breakout. Whatever your analysis is, I want you to explain it in a very brief sentence below one to help other traders and to help me realize what you're thinking in this situation. And the only reason I point that out is because you're going to see that different traders are going to see this in a different way. It's not important how you see it. The important part is what you do about what you see. And you're going to understand that in just a second. Let me get into it. So when we have a strategy, the whole point of that is a strategy is a set of rules we call conditions and entries. And then we play stops and targets. So a strategy just consists of four major parts. You have your conditions, you have your entry, you have your stops, and you have your targets. CEST, CEST, call it what you want to. That is all that a strategy includes, and that's all the strategy we're talking about today includes. And when you break it down into that simple form, it makes understanding strategies so much easier. Let me start like this. Conditions would be something like the market's above the 50 day moving average and at a level of support. An entry reason would be something like an engulfing candle, a green candle, a hammer candle. Your stop, of course, would just be below or above whatever you choose for it to be. And your target would be whatever you choose it to be. But those are the rules and that's how you break down any strategy. Anyone that's a professional trader has a strategy that consists of conditions, entries, stops, and targets. The entry might be a breakout of the flag pattern. It doesn't matter what it is. These are the things any professional trader is looking for, and that's the mindset I need you to be in as we move forward and I teach you this day trading strategy. Let's talk about the strategy itself. So on the Dollar Canada, I actually had a live trade I'm about to show you right here, and right afterwards, you're going to hear about what I thought about the market at this exact point. So let's take a look at that live trade and then I'll explain the analysis and while explaining it, teach you the entire day trading strategy I used to pull some pretty nice pips out of the Dollar Canada. Next up, we're looking at the Dollar Canada. On the Dollar Canada, already gotten a little bit higher than my entry. Will this still work out? Let's see, get a little under here and keep my target below. I can still get a one-to-one -one on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I was trying to get my recording software set up, so I ended up missing the exact entry on some of these. But needless to say, still have a trading opportunity here that I am comfortable with. It's gonna be a market order as well. Stop of 48 pips. Target at this point of also around 48 pips. We'll do a one-to-one, -one and I'm just gonna see how it plays out. I might end up going a little more on this specific trade. I'm only gonna do a 0.5% risk, sorry. 0.5% risk on this trade because of getting this late entry. Let's go ahead and click the button. All right, traders, so as I said yesterday, we're gonna go ahead and take off the actual profit target here because I don't want this to be hit. I was just putting this here in case it got hit overnight. I could take those profits off, but I actually wanna manage this position and keep this trade running on up to around this level, hopefully getting a little closer to a two to one risk reward. I am gonna move my stop loss up to break even though. 
that way. This is a risk-free trade now. I'm extremely excited about it, and I'm hoping we can get a little bit higher here with price up around the 1.3423 level. If we do, then that is a level I'll consider taking off my profits. So as you saw in that video, we entered this market right around here on this candle. And what I want to teach you now is the full set of conditions, entry, stop, and target that this strategy consists of. That's all the strategy is, so let's go ahead and talk about it. For this strategy, what we're looking for, conditions. Let's label them first. My conditions for this strategy, that's supposed to be a C by the way. Sorry, that was really bad. My conditions for this strategy are that, my blue line's the 50 EMA, the market must be above the 50 EMA. Are that continuing with conditions, that's condition one. Condition number two is I must see three tests of a support level. Test number one, test number two, test number three. At that point, if we are still above the 50 EMA, my conditions are met. So if I have a support level above the 50 EMA, it's tested three times. My entry reason is a green candle. And the conditions of that green candle is that it must close above the 50 EMA. I'm not gonna go over that again because I'm gonna use a short example in just a second to make sure you understand the strategy. But if you had any trouble with that, just rewind the video, rewatch it and check that out. But essentially, we're looking for the conditions of the market being above our 50-day moving average. We need a test of support three times and a green candle to show us that the market's planning to continue higher from that previous support level we just pointed out. One, two, third test, green candle, entry, pushing the market higher. This is how I get into breakouts on a day trading time frame well before the breakout actually happens. And as we can see from what happens to this market, it ends up pushing up and hitting my target at about 1.7 to 1 risk reward or 83 pips on this trade. And for my stops, all I do is go below the previous swing low, the lowest part of it. And for my targets, I'm looking at previous structure looking left. Now I have completely defined stops and targets that I don't have time to go over in this video, but what I have done is created a brand new free training that will go over this strategy in extreme detail, going through the exact set of rules. Now you have the concept, which is what I'm gonna be giving you in this video, but it'll go over the exact set of rules I use. It'll go over how to backtest this strategy. It'll go over the exact stops and targets that I use. It'll go over some of my testing results along with a couple of other live trades using it. So if you're interested in that free training, it is listed in the description below called Full Strategy. And again, it is absolutely free. Just click the link in the description and follow the instructions from there. But with that said, as you can see, the Dollar Canada trade ended up working out. Let's take a look at a bearish example of this. And then I'll share a couple of hints and tricks that come along with day trading that can make your journey to day trading profits much, much easier. Let's take a look at a bearish example now. Okay, so here we are on a bearish example. And what I'm gonna do is move the chart forward. I want you to see if you can spot the trade itself. See if you can spot the actual entry as I move forward. What are we looking for? We're looking for a market that's under the 50 EMA. One of our conditions, the condition being market under the 50 EMA. What this does is keeps us in the direct, or in the correct, not direct, in the correct trend in terms of the direction we're gonna be trading. If we're below the 50 EMA in a downtrend and we get this triple top situation and the market can't break through that triple top, then the likelihood of us falling, of price going down is very high because that's showing that selling pressure will not allow that market, if we're here, and we're testing this for a third time, it's telling us that buying pressure is not enough. If we get a red candle showing that selling pressure still exists, it's showing us buying pressure is not enough to push this market higher. It's showing us that selling pressure, stepping in for a third time, could be exactly what we need to push the market in trend continuation. That's why we have that 50 EMA below it being a condition on a bearish trade. So condition one, below the 50 EMA. What's the next thing we are looking for on this strategy? You go ahead and answer it for me. That's right, we're looking for a triple top situation or a resistance level that's tested once, twice, and thrice. What's our condition on the entry? The entry candle must close below the 50 EMA. That's the only condition the entry candle must have. So let's continue moving forward, see if you spot the entry as I do. It's our first level of resistance. Oh, here we go. We had one resistance level here. 
two resistance levels. I like black better on this line. I also like for it to be dotted. So we have two resistance levels here, right? See what happens next. Right here, is this the time to enter the market? Well, look at what we have. One resistance, resistance one. Two resistance, resistance two. That's a weird looking R. Three resistance, resistance three. What is our entry reason? Let's go back to entry. We have conditions met. Three levels of resistance of, that are all below the 50 EMA or on the 50 EMA. We're not going above it. We're not, we don't have candles closing above the 50 EMA. Again, all the exact rules and the full details of this strategy are available for absolutely free. I just didn't want to put them in this video because it makes the video extremely long when I dive into minute details. But that full version available listed below as free strategy. Check it out. It's absolutely free, cost you nothing. But here we are on R3, meaning the third resistance level that's still staying below our 50 day moving average. We have our entry after conditions. We look for entries. Our entry is a red candle. That's all we need. Show me selling pressure for the third time in a row at a resistance level while we're in a downtrend. Yo, I'm jumping on. I'm going to go short. So here I am with my conditions and entry. What's the condition of the entry? Bearish candle must close below the 50 EMA. Remember that part as well. Once we have all those factors coming together, place our trade and it looks something like this. We have a short trade from this area with a stop loss above the highest wick of our resistance level. Whichever one of the three has the highest wick is where I'm putting the stop. Again, very de detailed stops and targets are available. Free strategy listed below. Free full strategy or full strategy, whatever I name it. You'll be able to see it in the description. Targets, where do they go? Around previous structure support, right? About a 1.6 to 1. I do want to make sure I can get around a 1 to 1 at least to that previous level. In this case, I absolutely do. So with that being the case, I'm ready to place the trade. I'll place a short trade right there. Let's see what happens. Market pushes down, does exactly what markets do, which is put you through an emotional turmoil situation, through pain, halfway to targets, almost stopped out, pushing down, and then finally hitting the targets on our bearish version of this winning day trading strategy that's so simple, a beginner could easily learn it and the next steps. Let's talk about a couple of tricks and hints that I have for you in terms of creating day trading as a full-time career. First, if you've enjoyed the video so far and you liked that strategy and you think it's something you're going to apply to your trading, that's awesome. Make sure to click that like button though to show some support and let me know in the comment section what you think about the strategy. Also, make sure you're subscribed. But moving on now, the first step to this is not to go out and start trading this with real money. That is how you blow accounts. I've done that before. I've taken YouTube strategies and just went out and traded them, especially within the first six months of my trading career. I just took YouTube strategies and traded them with live money in the markets. By the way, in the first six months of my trading career, I lost 50% of my account. So do you think that's a good way to go about this? No, it's not. You now have the rules that you need to take this strategy and go back test it yourself, which is exactly what we're doing here. Use market replay on trading view. Use market replay on anything you have. If you don't have market replay, go backwards and just move the market one candlestick at a time until you see a situation where your exact rules line up. What are the exact rules we just went over? The conditions above or below the 50 day moving average, a support level tested thrice, a resistance level tested thrice, our entry reason, a green candle on an uptrend, a red candle on a downtrend that closes above the 50 AMA. EMA for a bullish trade, below the 50 EMA for a bearish trade. We have all the rules. They've all been said. Rewind the video if you didn't remember them. Now you have those rules. You've put those beside you. You go back through historical data and you test the last 100 times that that exact set of rules has happened. Out of those 100 times, with your stops and targets, which I have a free training for in the description, the exact stops and targets I use for this. Keep plugging that. Sorry. But the exact stops and targets you're going to use, you test that 100 times. And you see out of that 100 times, how many times did it win versus lose? And out of those 100 trades, what is my profit potential? And if it happened to be that you made profit out of the last 100 times that was traded, then you have a really good indication on what it's likely to perform like in the future. Of course, nothing's guaranteed. Markets do change. But 
a hundred times traded is a lot of time. That's a lot of changing markets. So if your strategy lasted in that change, it's likely that it'll last in the next 100 trades as a profitable strategy, as a strategy that makes money over time as well. So that's tip number one. I have one more for you that I think you're really going to enjoy. And that is day trading, right? That's what this whole video is about. This strategy, by the way, tested on all time frames. Day trading is just what I assume a lot of you are trying to do right now. And with that being the case, this is going to be some really cool advice. So for me, day trading, wait for it, actually happens around 9 p.m. One of my favorite ways to trade, and I'll go over to the Dollar Canada trade that we looked at live. Let's actually uh, go out of market replay and get to that trade. Look at this real quick. When was this trade placed? 2200. That is 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My day trading actually happens at night. And here's the reason. The time frame you want to avoid at all costs when day trading or the time zone, not time frame, the trading time is any time between 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look it up in your time zone. I'm not sure what it will be. I have traders around the world watching this. But anytime between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is a no-go for anyone even trying to place trades that aren't extremely long-term trades where the spread doesn't matter because the spread between those hours is outrageous. But after 6 p.m., the spread calms down a bit. By 10 p.m., you can get a very normal spread, like one to two pips like I did on this trade, and you can be patient with your analysis. So what I'm, what I'm saying by this is avoid 5 p.m. if you're going to be a day trader, of course. But don't feel like you can't look at the charts. Let's say you're in Eastern time like me, you're on the East Coast of the United States or along that line, and you have a full-time job, but you get out of your job at six, you get home by seven, eat, spend time with your family. Don't feel like you can't do analysis at 8 p.m. And here's the beauty of it. You do your analysis between eight and midnight, you place your trades before bed, whatever your analysis tells you. In this case, my analysis was saying I have, wait for it, three time tested support level above the 50 EMA. My entry candle did close above the 50 EMA. I entered the market. When your strategy lines up at eight to 10 PM, eight to 12, eight to midnight, you can place your trade then if you have the strategy tested in that time period. And the beauty of it is that during the London session and the London, New York overlap, your trade is very likely to either be stopped out, which happens sometimes, nothing's 100%, or likely to hit your target because of the volatility that comes in the market. And what that means is that you can still have a day trading mindset where you're in and out of the market within 24 hours, most of the time, because of that volatility that comes in after you place your trade and you've avoided a time when there's a extreme spread. There's nothing wrong with doing this and taking, especially if you have a full-time job or other obligations throughout the day, there's nothing wrong with taking your trades at night and then letting them play out as long as you've tested it this way. Again, I gotta keep going back to that. Don't go and just start trading this way because I said that it's something that's good to do. I have a very methodical and proven strategy that I use at these times. You will need to do the same thing. You'll need to put in the work to figure that out yourself or test this. See if it works in those times. It does for me. Once you have all that done, once you place your trade between eight and midnight, a lot of times, 90% of the time, I would say that volatility coming in on the London session between that and the London, New York overlap will either hit your targets or hit your stop and you'll be out of the trade within 24 hours, 90% of the time. So that's how I like to day trade because I have obligations during the day. I'm recording stuff for you guys. I'm recording stuff for our online paid education, the EAP training program, which Seems like a great time to talk about if you are interested in some more advanced training. There's a link below labeled EAP training program. In that program, I take you through the roadmap that I learned to go from where I was struggling as a trader, losing 50% of my account in the first six months to eventually the foundation that created the profitable trading career for me is exactly what I teach in that program. I do it with a full course that walks you through every checkpoint along the path of going from where you are to being a profitable trader. In this course, I am your mentor and I'm there in case you get lost and you need a hand getting back on track. I'm right there. You can ask me any questions you have about the course or Forex in general. A new update to the EAP is that every Monday I'm going to be 
showing you the exact trading setups that I'm looking for throughout that week. And I'll be emailing you whenever I actually place those trades. If you want to be a part of the program again, that link is in the description. And the best part about the EAP, I would say, is that there is a 60-day money-back guarantee. What other trading education have you ever seen that has an actual refund policy? Ours is legitimate. And if you want a refund after 60 days for any reason, just email us and we'll get your money back ASAP. So if that sounds interesting and you like risk-free opportunities, EAP link is in the description. Don't forget the full strategy is also in the description. If you enjoyed today's content, like button, there's videos somewhere on the screen that I think would be awesome for you to watch and it would also help you to improve your trading just as much as this video did. If you're not subscribed, make sure to go ahead and do that and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you soon.